Guys, what we're going to do next is, uh, again, we're a continuation of our rhythm workshop. Uh, so so uh, this is off of June, guitar player June 2013 by Jesse Gress called Mo Funk. And the two chords that we're going to learn today are new chords, uh, E minor 7. Now you can play this number of ways. The way uh, Jesse has it is you have your first finger on the, put this down there for you, the first finger will be on the... Uh, seventh fret on the A string, your second finger will go on the seventh fret on the G string, third finger will go on the high E string, seventh fret, and then pinky will go on the B string. Okay, you could do it that way, that's one way. I'm not really familiar with that one, but that is, that is one way. And the other way is the one I know of, it's like an E minor bar chord shape. But what we're going to do is how to do that is first finger will go on the seventh fret covering five strings. Uh, and then your second finger, so that first finger is going to bar, and then your second finger will go on the 8th fret on the uh, B string, or 2nd string, and then 3rd finger will go on the uh, D string. That's the way I would do it. And then we have an E minor 6 chord, or we could also call it uh, um, A9 with an E in the bass. Okay, so how we play that, I play an A9 first, is, is take your, if we were to do an A9, take your, you can, you can do this chord too, this chord. take your second finger on the seventh fret on the D string, your first finger will go on the B string sixth fret, your, your third finger will go on the high E string uh, seventh fret, and pinky will go on the, uh, right here on the B string on the 8th fret. Now we to make it an E minor 6 chord or an A, A9 with an E in the bass. Just move this first finger up to the 5th string. Alright? So we have this one and then we, we can just make the A9. Or you make the A9. It's all cool. Now the, we're going to look at a, on page 79 <coughs> excuse me, uh, example 1H. And if I just use one chord you have four sixteenth notes on beat one. You have a quarter note rest on beat two. Uh, you have a single sixteenth on the on on the end of beat three, the uh of beat three, and then you have three sixteenth notes on four, followed by a sixteenth rest. So this will sound like this. You're going to go E minor seven. I'll just do the E minor seven for now. So you're going to go one E and a two E and a three. Let's move to the A9 chord or the uh, E minor 6 with the E minor 6 or A9 with the E in the bass. So we're going to go. One, oh, by the way, when you do play this E minor 6 with the A in the bass, uh, sorry, E minor 6 or A9 with the A in the bass, you want to make sure this D string is muted with this finger right here and just lie it across just um, lightly. And this will go. One, e, Sorry, E minor seven. Then we have the A nine. And that'll be for that one. Uh, hope to see you guys in, in, the, in a bit, and take care. Bye-bye.